Welcome to my video on the history of Freemasonry. This topic has been discussed by many different people. It is very interesting to me. I learn about how the craft started and where it came from. My goal here is to give you a good overview of the history of Freemasonry. So let's get started. Freemasonry is the world's largest, oldest, and most widespread fraternal organization. Freemasons are men who have a common interest in the development of their community, their state, and their country. Today, Freemasons are considered a fraternity of high moral principles and a brotherhood in which men of all races, religions, and nationalities join together to build and support a community through charity, education, and fellowship. Nobody knows for certain when or how the Masonic fraternity was founded. One widely recognized idea among Masonic researchers is that it sprang from the guilds of stonemasons throughout the Middle Ages. The Sierra's language and symbols are utilized in the fraternity ceremonies. The Regius poem, produced in 1390 as a copy of an earlier work, is the oldest document that mentions Masons. Four London Lodges founded the first Grand Lodge of England in 1717, and records from that point on are more complete. The fraternity had expanded throughout Europe and the American colonies within 30 years. In colonial America, Freemasonry grew in popularity. George Washington was a Mason, and Benjamin Franklin, Paul Revere, and Joseph Warren were members of the fraternity in Pennsylvania. John Hancock, John Sullivan, Lafayette, Baron Frederick von Steuben, Nathaniel Green, and John Paul Jones were among the other well-known Masons involved in the creation of America. Chief Justice John Marshall, another Mason, molded the Supreme Court into what it is today. Freemasonry has evolved into a global fraternity promoting personal study, self-improvement, and social good through individual action and generosity over the years. During the late 1700s, it was one of the groups most responsible for disseminating enlightenment principles such as the dignity of man and individual liberty the right of all people to worship as they like, the development of democratic governments, and the need for public education. Masons helped to establish the first public schools in both Europe and America. Freemasonry expanded considerably during the 1800s and early 1900s. The government had no social safety net at the time. Many people's only security came from the Masonic practice of establishing orphanages, homes for widows, and homes for the elderly. Today, the Masonic fraternity in North America continues this tradition by donating nearly $2 million per day to causes ranging from operating children's hospitals to treating childhood language disorders, treating eye diseases, funding medical research contributing to local community service, and caring for Masons and their families at Masonic homes. The six million Masons worldwide continue to help men and women address the difficulties of the 21st century by establishing bridges of fraternity and instilling ideas for a brighter tomorrow in the hearts of men. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that you enjoy the content. If you have any questions, please ask in the comments section below. Please subscribe and share your thoughts.